Thursday when you were off doing a video segment, I was walking around looking for things to, to video and somebody walked by me with the most amazing looking thing strapped all over their body and I hunted him down and I stopped him and his name is Alessandro and he's right there. He's not wearing the rig, but it's called a ready rig, ready rig. correct? And uh, we're gonna show it to you guys in just a second, but this is actually a true story. This is how I met you. You were walking by and right, I just right. hunted you down. I said, wait right. a minute, what the hell are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's not something, I mean, it's, you just built this thing, right? Well, it was actually my father's invention. Okay. And uh, yeah, he built it about 30 years ago out of, uh, yeah, well, we'll show it in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, he built it 30 years ago, put it in the closet, never thought anything about it. And then You're one day kidding. I was starting to shoot DSLR about four years ago. And um, he saw the need. He saw what he said, I have the answer for your problems. He saw me messing around with a couple of the standard shoulder rigs. And four years later, it's to the and point where he pulled where it, it out of the closet. That's no, unbelievable. He, he you said, he, wait, did I get this right? You said 30. Three, Thir zero. three zero. 30 years, years ago, ago. He was doing a film. Yeah, he was doing a film. He made one of these for himself. Yeah, but it wasn't so advanced as oh, it is now, obviously. Yeah, it was made But it he was made a simplistic prototype. No, he was there saying the DSLRs are going to be big in 30 years. <laughs> 30 years. I might as well put this in the closet <laughs> yeah. until it's ready. <laughs> right, exactly. okay. All right, so let's, uh, you know, what we're talking about is basically it's like a steady cam rig. Right. It doesn't have quite the same features, but it's, it's right. different. But it's a rig that you wear on your body right, right. in order to take all the weight off your, your arms from, right. from a camera, right? Is that the, right. the general goal? I, the general goal is it's, it's like a camera positioning system. So like with standard shoulder rigs, we're kind of locked in on one plane sitting on your shoulder. If you want to move the camera, you've got to move your whole body. With this, yep. you can simply just slide the camera forward. It supports all the weight, and you can position the camera in four axes. So you can go... Horizontal, sideways, you could spin, you can do up, down, and you all the while view your monitor at the same position, so you don't have to you don't have to track where your camera is actually going. You can just focus on the uh, the okay, frame. Okay, I hear you telling me that. Right, but I kind of have a hard time imagining that. So right, right. Maybe you just show us show us how it works. Absolutely. Let's put it on and demonstrate it. Absolutely. So. Uh, we go, we got the rig right here. I'll explain in a little bit. Once Turn around to that camera right there. Yeah, he's got you on that camera okay, right there. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to release the camera, snap in my belt, tighten, lock up the shoulders. So you so got I'm a belt, you got a belt that's essentially just gonna hold the weight down right. to help us support it. What from it does the waist, is it right? transfers the weight to the hips. Yeah. So the part of the leg where it's not on your back anymore, it's, it's all right in the here, hips. right in the trunk of your leg. So, so you're done now. That's, that's I'm done. on you. I'm that set was up. sixty seconds. Sixty There's seconds. There's no balancing involved. Well there is if you want. I mean it's already preset, but if I if my camera has a heavy lens on it and it's front heavy, I simply slide the camera until it has its center of gravity set and I lock the handles. And just now by I can, turning. Just by turning the handles inward. So now I can access a tilt head. So I can get angles shooting down. And I still have access to looking, I still have the ability rather to look at my monitor and see what my framing's doing. You also have the ability to kind of take the camera into all these interesting configurations, like a 90 degree angle, all the while seeing your monitor. You can also position. Not just at this level, you can bring the monitor down, or the camera down, rather. And you can operate all the while hands-free. So it simplifies the process of shooting, where you don't have to really fight the camera. You can just focus on what you need to get done in your framing. So if you turn around so that the camera can see the back, there's some interesting little I don't know, bar looking, stretchy looking, what, what is going on? Four Ow. bungees going on. So They're what? Four bungee cords. Bungee cords. Yeah, okay. and then on the outside of it, we put a fabric so that it can't stretch or break. Okay. So you can't lose your camera. It'll catch it. So it has a maximum position to it. And you can adjust the tension in the back right here by pulling down this plate. Okay. And I noticed that what you're doing is you're kind of 
you might twist it, let's say twist it sideways, right? But you let go with your hands, it stays. It stays where you position, twisted right. it, if you will. Yeah, exactly. How are you doing? How are you doing the tensiony kind of adjustments on 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 the joints? It, it just so you just the, tighten them and loosen them. How do you tighten my them handles? Them? What happens is when I when I twist my handles, I have this axis, which is the two outer plates, right here, and the outer plates swivel, and they can lock. And that allows you to have your center of gravity up pretty fast. And it also uh, gives you the ability to shoot at different left, right angles. And then if you find the center of gravity, you can start to move the tilt head. And the, it's kind of like a whole combination between the head, these sliding rods that allow the, rod, the whole camera to slide out and fall down or go up, the tilt head, and the independent ability of each rod to slide and, and kind of act independently of the others. No crossbar sections kind of locking in the right. rig. So you have a lot of freedom. You can move a camera right to a low level, go hands free, and you're just simply letting the camera float right where you want it. How much does the whole thing weigh? It's 12 pounds, but keep in mind it's all over your, your whole torso. So you got, it doesn't feel like anything really. I mean, I can stand here for hours. Well, and I've seen you over there walking around and wearing it all day long for the yeah, last exactly. three days. So, um, how do you mount? The, it looks like you've got a, a a monitor mounted there. How many mounting points do we have? How many things can we mount on that? Well, if you we can want mount microphones and monitors and lights. Microphones. And all you can put mics on the camera's hot shoe. We provide two hot shoes out here, and we also have an accessory plate that you can mount whatever you need. So you can put Israeli arms on there. You can stick your um, external audio recorder right on the bottom, like a beach tech, where you can simply just monitor the audio levels, and you can do it yep. very easily, too, because you can see your monitor level down there, your audio level, and uh, adjust accordingly. Be able to still monitor your frame, hold your frame, and kind of just let the camera float in front of you so you don't have to really worry about And shape. how much weight can you put on? How much, what, we suggest what up to 17 as a max. 17, 17. pounds. 17 pounds. It really it works best. I don't best. know about you, Jared, but I don't want to carry 17 pounds around like that. That's a lot of weight. It's I a mean, lot of weight. It takes it to the. That's kind of the the point where we suggest not not going up above that. But it all depends on user how strong you are, how much weight you're willing to put on it. it will oh, hold how it. strong you are, though. Yeah. Well, I could totally do it, though. I know you could. I really good. You're a big beast of a man. Are these for oh, sale? They're, they're already taking guesses in the chat room about how much. I'll tell you what some of the guesses are. Um, eight hundred dollars. Three thousand dollars, twenty-seven fifty. Yeah. So, how much is it? Bro, well, right now at B and H, it's nineteen ninety-nine. Not not nineteen ninety-nine, as in yeah, not twenty bucks. Twenty yeah. bucks, but yeah. as in two thousand dollars. It comes with a carrying case. It comes with the rig. It doesn't come with a monitor or a camera, obviously. Yep. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so two thousand dollars. You said right. You said right now at B and H. B and H. Is implying scary. that I could go to B and H today and buy one. It's on. It's on Tomorrow. the website right now. Oh, it's on their website. Just the website. Yeah. B and H will be carrying it hopefully soon on the store floor, but it's available online. Okay, so when when we say available, I just want to be clear about this. Right. If I order one, it will show up like in a week. I mean, they're exactly. in production. They're available. They're in production. Available they're for available purchase. for purchase on VNH's website. Okay, yeah. all right. Just making sure I Absolutely. understood that correctly. Yeah. So you you have something that started off as a, a thirty year old idea that your dad had, and you right. guys put it into production, and there you go. There we go. I mean, a lot more than that, but a lot of testing, <laughs> especially with the the way cameras are going. They're getting lighter and lighter, so we don't have to be stuck to this rigid shoulder system. We can have the camera float and change angles, and we can be right there framing any, any angle we want now. We don't have to be stuck to just one plane. Excellent. You got I'd like questions? to try one on. No, I don't have any questions. You want to try it on right now? No, I don't want to try it on right now. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now, but it's... After it's we finish, maybe you can go over there. Probably after there, I'll go and, over and there. And try it on. Yeah. It looks great. It definitely does look great. All right, I guys. don't think, I don't... Do you guys have any other questions? Anywhere, anybody in here have a question or on the chat room? Any questions before we let Alessandro go back? Well, they got the pricing down. They got the pricing. We know the weight. It's about 12 pounds. Yeah. We know it'll handle 
up to 17 pounds. Um, they're asking, can they buy the monitor? You just got, where, what monitor did you get out of curiosity? What so I, I actually, I, I rented this because I flew in from LA, couldn't bring too much gear with me. So this is a little 15 inch, uh, or 15 inch, sorry, yeah, no, five inch, five inch Sony. Um, it's really nice, it's lightweight. Um, I put seven inch monitors, I put big, uh, heavier monitors on this, so it'll hold the weight. Uh, obviously, it's always nice to have, lighten up your load when you have something to strap to your body. Um, they're asking about like uh, button extenders. Like, is there a way to to extend your record button and and things you know, of we that don't, nature? Uh, uh, some camera companies, I know that Canon's starting to offer uh, an ability to actually do the inward, the focus by plugging into your camera, yep. start and stop. So any of those you can mount to the actual rig. Um, I think that's more for the camera uh, manufacturers. But yeah, as, as that technology develops further, I think we'll be adapting this to fit that. Gotcha. Absolutely. And then you guys, uh, there's a question about the range of the camera, how high, how low. How high? Uh, it looks like uh, maybe you got more about or less the, the extension of your arms. Yeah, so, I mean, I can, if you can see me, it's kind of hard to do it here, but uh, I mean, I'd say well, you got yeah, you can. I mean, you can I get can, it up can, above can, your head, right? If I if I can, lock the bars in a in a fully extended, I have longer arms, so I can do this. It depends on user, but if I lock so that I don't have the the rails actually. Um, obstructed by my shoulder. What I'm curious about, can you do one hand and focus? Because I mean, it seems like you have to focus. Right, right, right. One-handed focus, absolutely. You mean something like this? Well, let me get... Because generally, you're going to have to focus when you're doing the video. Right. So it and locks in where you want it, and then you just right. tweak it as you go. And by exactly. the way, uh, I don't know, Dave, did you take the wireless camera away? You've got a funky little prototype of a, of a focusing right, tool right. up there that looks amazing. It's actually, it's not our prototype. Yeah. It's uh, through our distributor. It's one of, it's Veravon. It's this little plastic, cheap uh, $20 follow focus system that you kind of just attach to your lens, fit ver a variety of lenses. Can and you show them that, Dave? They've got to see it because it's amazing. It's so simple and brilliant. It's a little rubber strap with a little plastic handle. You strap it around, you, you notch it in the proper length, and there you go. But they're not available yet. Those are little prototypes. But you know, when they come out, we'll try and find them and let you guys know. All right, Alessandro, thank you very much for uh, showing it off. It's amazing. I thank you, guys. I can't wait to try one. We've, we'll talk later. I might have to get a couple of those for us to take to uh, CES Absolutely. with us and stuff. Absolutely. That, that would make your CES it, journey it much easier. would make the coverage Because you much, don't have to worry about better. You know, somebody carrying a rig, the, when they can just relax and it just takes all the weight off of them, that's going to be much better.